Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and Tiny Zoo. Welcome back in the franchise and welcome back on this beautiful morning here in the desert of Africa. Today we are going to build something rather special because I've been looking forward to this habitat since the very beginning of the zoo. I knew that I wanted to have this specific habitat in this zoo as, you know, kind of the, the central focal point, something very interesting. And we're going to build just that today, um, but it's going to be a little bit different um, simply because I uh, will do a little cut again, just as you guys said that you like the idea of having these cuts every now and then, um, just to ensure that we have it. So we're going to do the West African line which means that this is also going to be our most expensive and potentially also our most uh, prominent animal in this zoo. Um, hence getting more guests but also paying more money because you know food and stuff will be expensive. But the main reason why we do this are these wonderful uh, leaf points or conservation credits as they're actually called down here because we need some more of those and lions are just a beautiful vehicle to get them. Now, before we start, I just need to say a big thanks to all of you guys uh, for all the comments in the last episode. I haven't renamed all the animals yet. The reason why is you guys went crazy. And you know what? I will actually do this really specifically in an Excel file. You know, I'm gonna make like a chart and put all the animals in and you will be able to rename all the animals in this zoo, but I really have to keep track of it in a chart because otherwise I, I just, you know, I just can't. You guys go, you just went completely crazy. And you know what, I've got a special for you. There were so many names I, I couldn't use. I will actually rename every single bin in this zoo. You know, you can become a bin. You know, I'm just gonna do this for Kane first of all, you know, just because Kane loves to be a bin, I know that. Um, <laughs> jokes aside, I mean, seriously, if you wanna become a bin, or like a, can we even, wait, you can also be a bench. If, if you wanna be a bench and you want to have Planet Zoo people sit on you, well, then tell me which kind of bench you wanna be and you will, you're going to be a bench. So I'm gonna create this chart, I'm gonna put all your names in and then we will rename this in one episode, uh, a dedicated episode to rename all the stuff as a big thanks for you guys. So this is what I want to do. Now, um, all these things um, aside, I will do a little bit of a, you know, um, starting uh, layout of this habitat first, and then we are going to do a little cut in which I'm going to prepare all the boring stuff that you guys do not want to see potentially. Um, and also, during this episode, I will talk about something that is going to come to my, um, you know, uh, podcast channel soon. I know there has been a little bit of a void lately, um, which I can explain. <laughs> uh, I will actually do this uh, now. So, we did actually get a new car. The problem is we didn't want to get a new car in the first place. We needed to get a new car because the car of my wife broke down um, actually pretty much out of nowhere, uh, we gotta say. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a pain um, simply because this car never had an issue, never really was a big thing. It just had some normal, you know, these kind of normal things you have with a car every now and then. Um, but there was like nothing major going on. Yeah, and then this car decided to die on us and we brought this, like, you know, we brought it into the pit stop and blah, 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 and, you know, tried to find out what it was, but it appeared it was like a complete a disaster and uh, economy, while economically um, it was not doable for us to, you know, uh, make sure that the car uh, is working for us again. Hence, we needed a new car and that was a little bit of a struggle to decide because, you um, I already um, kind of juggled in my mind uh, things like what kind of car did we want. We wanted to be, you know, certainly not paying too much money for it. But on the other hand side, you know, we have a baby and we wanted to make sure that, you know, everything with the baby is kind of calculated into this equation. Um, and, uh, you know, well, just to, to give you an idea, we had a, a VW uh, Polo, you know, a Volkswagen, and we had a um, BMW 1 Series. That's the one I got. Um, so rather small cars, you know, uh, entry cars of these brands, if you want. And um, beautiful cars. We, we, we both loved our cars. Um, uh, there is no question about that. But the problem uh, mostly about this was that, um, you know, we needed something bigger. And we, we actually went to BMW, we went to um, some other brands as well, like Volvo. Uh, we, we love Volvo as well. Um, so, you know, we had a look into that. And 
it all appeared a little bit expensive, um, especially we wanted to go not onto um, a normal uh, internal combustion engine any anymore. We wanted to at least go for like a plug-in, but then we just kind of tried to, you know, inform ourselves a little bit better about plug-in uh, cars, and then we were like, yeah, maybe we don't want them anymore. And so we decided to basically, um, yeah, look into a full electric vehicle at this point, even though I really didn't think about that in the first place. I knew, I, you know, I always had that as a little bit of a dream uh, one day, um, because, you know, if you have ever... If you've ever been in an electric vehicle, you've ever had the chance to drive one, you know how much fun that is and uh, you basically will be able to uh, understand why people enjoy it that much. But yeah, so as a matter of fact, we had a little bit of the issue that, um, yeah, we didn't know what to do. And uh, that then as the car of my wife broke down, we were basically forced to take a decision rather quickly. And yeah, then we ended up getting the Hyundai Ioniq 5, which is a full electric vehicle. Um, it is a brand that we did not really consider at all. It was mainly a little bit of a coincidence of my brother sending me that car as like how crazy nice it's, it's looking. Um, and I got to explain that a little bit better here. So uh, we were mostly looking into maybe something from Skoda as well or like, like an Audi maybe as well like you know an e-tron or like an Enyaq or whatever maybe as like a family car um, we didn't really want to go to VW because Volkswagen is like a brand I kind of you know learned to not like anymore so much in the last couple of years uh, partly partially because of all the scandals they had but also you know on the other hand side uh, because I just dislike the cars they did like simply plain as simple as that I just didn't like the car so now um, then this this car that my brother sent over to me was like a little bit of a like oh my god what what's that brand even and I know Hyundai is like a brand that my my dad used to have and he was very happy with it um, and we never had an issue like, actually with that car so why would we have now one um, but yeah it appeared um, that this car was rather special and my wife was also pretty much blown away by the design and we were both um, going for like a test drive and we were both pretty convinced of that car but then yeah the car was not available because it's rather new and uh, rather hard to get and I well actually we both thought you know what it was a nice dream but let's let's focus on something normal you know let's focus on something achievable and something that is realistically f available for us um, and that didn't really appear there was nothing where we both were like yeah that's that's like it that's that's what is just really good for us um, so yeah, we, we ended up going further into a little bit of a consideration phase of maybe different cars. And guess what? We ended up again on the Ionic 5 because that was one available in kind of a couple uh, a city like that was like 500 kilometers away from here. And I just wrote them an email and that was one of the most polite and friendly persons I've ever met in my life. Uh, this guy, like, you know, this Hyundai... Um, a dealer he was something else he was really really friendly really like welcoming really trying to help us in, like finding a solution and yeah the version of the car that they had there was pretty much the exact one we we wanted to have and it was available just right now and so we just sat down on a weekend time and i don't know if you guys are really interested i'm just like talking the whole story while preparing the habitat but um long story short um, we managed to somehow um, understand that this will be long term the best in, um, invest for us uh, at this point even though we have a baby and uh, money might be at some point a little bit of an issue but since you know having an electric vehicle comes with a lot of advantages at this point in, in Germany I know it's a little bit of a hard topic everywhere else in the world maybe or like in many places at this point but yeah, so um, that's what we did. And in my podcast channel, I will actually talk about more about the reasons why in the first place we were so interested in an electric vehicle. I know it's still a very, let's say, um, <laughs> heavily discussed topic, but I, you know, I, I have a very clear stance on it. I, I think my opinion on it, and again, I, I think it's really, really important to reiterate uh, that this is my opinion personal opinion it's my subjective opinion it's not like a fact or whatever but my personal stance on it is pretty clear um and i feel very comfortable um talking about this so that's what i'm going to do in the podcast so in case you guys are interested it's gonna be 
I, yeah, may, maybe dropping next week, maybe even this week. I'm trying to find the time for it. Very busy times at work at the moment, but yeah. So uh, we talked a lot about that. I hope you guys were interested in that topic about the car. We got a new car and that was the reason why I didn't really have that much time at the moment. Um, you know, getting everything done with the bank account and, you know, getting the money ready and blah, blah, blah. It was kind of a hard thing to do. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing this. Um, by the way, we were going for, yeah, thank you for that. We were going for the West African Lion and I just got to say we need some space for them and this this will not most likely not be enough space um, and we need like an entrance so my idea was to get them a bridge um, which will be also like a bridge for the staff members because otherwise they just won't be able to get over here and then we kind of have to get something that will make them move to this space so with uh, you know I'm gonna create like a bridge that is also working for the staff members um, so that's gonna be like a very nice way in which you can see both sides and this will be the effective entrance to the habitat even though I'm going to take away a little bit of the space here but I think this is a good idea because we need the shelter and this will be like the open area for them to roam around and I think this will be like a good space for the shelter I'm really confident that that looks good because we also need some buildings for that because the backstage access we have here won't certainly work for that. This is going to be something I'm, I'm going to do off screen really quick. Um, but yeah, so first of all, let's just quickly check the Zoopedia and I'm gonna say la oops, Lion, West African Lion. So how much space do you need? Uh, blah, blah, blah. So it's 705 square meters. Um, that's not really as much as I thought. I, they, I mean, they can definitely swim, so we gotta have to make sure that they can't get out of the water here. So we're going to make like a little bit of a rocky design on this side, so people can watch into them, but like have like a nice little wall here, and this everything else can be open because they can't climb this anyways. Same goes on this side. Uh, let's quickly see how much space that is. I'm just going to make this very simple, um, plain simple. I just want to see how much space this is for them. Um, and then, you know, again, I will make this off screen. It's actually a very weird wording, don't, don't you think? Like, it's what, what does off screen mean? I mean, I, I know that off screen means basically doing that without recording, but that's like such a weird wording in the first place. Like, it's, I'm not off screen, I'm just not recording. It's like, it's, it's weird. Anyways, it's, I think, at least it, as far as I know, it's kind of an official wording for that, but yeah, if you get an explanation for why it is called off screen, you know, I mean, I could easily Google that, but you know, if you guys have an explanation for me, stupid camel, please let me know in the comments down below. That would be very helpful, at least for this little question I have in my head. I really don't know why I think about these things. Like my, my brain sometimes is just broken. It's broken, it's broken as Lando Norris would say, um, but, <laughs> hell, well, um, why don't we just make the entrance, you know, I'm just gonna chop that off here, because that's where I'm going to put the backstage buildings, they will actually have a, uh, blah, 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 yeah, I'm gonna put them a little bit to the inside, that should be fine, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud, but the problem about this is when I put, like, the stuff building here, this will be have a negative effect on the people, so I have to put that more in the center, anyways, that's just, like, that was just me thinking about this, um, can I have it on this side, please, so this will be the entrance, the buildings will be to the left-hand side of the door, fine, let's put it here, okay, so this is, this is the, I have to click escape, never mind. So how much space do we have? Three, eight, that's way more than we need, which is great, but the thing is, like we do have zero water area. We should put water in real quick to see, boom, change, two, seven. And get rid of this space, get rid of some of this space, will still be way more than we need, which is great, so we can leave it as it is. Okay, so I'm going to basically create what I said, um, make like a little bit of a, uh, you know, um, prefab of this area, so you guys know what we do. We will actually have like a little bit of a, a pride rock in the center here, um, because that's what we want to have, and I think this explains why we do have this wonderful balcony over here. That will be beautiful to see the lines from the other side as well. Um, that was, again, what I had in my mind from the very beginning. That was, the, again, the only habitat I had in my mind was this one from the very beginning. Oh, speaking of which, do we actually have water treatment? Yeah, nice, we're touching that. That's brilliant. Okay, cool. Um, let's talk after the cut. Uh, um, you will see this, wait, can I? You know what we, de uh, what we do, I'm just going to take this cam camera. I wanna give you like the special, okay? We do this real time right now. I'm just gonna move this camera here. Is it is it going to be powered? Let's see, where's the power? I gotta put that in into power, there you go. This is where power is. And then, because otherwise I can't enter the view. So let's have a little look, view is like this. Okay, let's tilt that down a little bit more. 
And now let's enter the view again. Yeah, that's nice. I think this is this is this is kind of nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna talk to you again in this view. Let's just get rid of the HUD. Okay, no, actually, we we tilt that a little bit more. I want to give you a tiny bit more. Okay, we are here. We are here to entertain you. Okay, so this is the view. Let's um, talk again after the cut. For you, it will be just a split second until you see the result. For me, it's gonna be some work now. <laughs> so I'll talk to you after the cut. Okay, we are back. On the first lens, it might not really look that much, but oh boy, I did do a lot. A lot, a lot more than I actually thought. But you can see there's already a shelter. We already have the facilities hidden in here. Um, we've got like a fully fledged bridge section already where they can hopefully go over. And we've got a couple of things I changed as well. Like we do have to do a few couple of things here before we let the lines in, but I think the groundwork most likely is done. So I've got something beautiful over here um, for building like a little bit of a um, wall over here. So I've got this, this wall piece, which we are going to use um, basically over here, so like a like a little fence, you know, we can we can basically take that and then just turn these things off because we don't really need that, you know, and we will we will then take this thing and just copy that over as much as we can, you know, um, and basically what I will do is I'll just go into the building and then things good should go actually a bit quicker, you know, this is this is how we will do this. I mean, it's go, you know, it's going downhill here, so we're going to have a little bit of a you know, incline to climb. Incli is that like even a word? Do we actually climb an incline? I don't know, but we, we have to go down and align that to the path. Um, wait, how high is that? Am I blocking all the views? Oh, I am basically. Well, we can just take them all and then move it back down. Um, that should be that should be the best solution. I'm just not going to do this right now, but I'm going to do this as soon as I've put them all down. So they don't really have to align like superbly fine. You know, this is just to make sure that we do not have like an escape point for them, um, just in general. But like, I think from this side, it just looks good. So we're just going to do it that way. And very much until we are over here. So this is basically where we need to go. Now you've got these things. So we got to select one, two, three, and move this all down. So we have like a bit more of a nice little, yeah, that's a lot better, even though this is not looking like too nice. So I'm, I'm just going to, okay, this is like a different building, but I'm just going to raise them up over here as well. And then I'm just going to push that one up as well. This, this lower bit is all fine, but these, these thing, uh, these things over here do not really look, oops, this is still part of this building. Okay. So we're just going to move those two up lines. Look at that. So the only thing is there's like, I, I do want to have like a complete nice fence over there. So how is, how is that? Okay. So usually we should be able to put like, just like a, Okay, it's because of that one is too close here, right? Is that working now? It's still not working. Why is, what, what's the deal here? Let's just... Oh, because of the pathway. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Just going to put that here. Yeah, there you go. This is working. So what I want to do is, you know, just give this thing like a proper proper wall so people can't really look into this from this side. I just want to block that away um, and make sure that the lines cannot climb up there. But I think that should be fine. And then, you know, kind of cool is from the guest, uh, like, I uh, know from the staff view over here, you can see the lines from the backside, but something that the guest can't see. I think that's a cool idea. They can just always give like a note to the others over here that there's something going on or whatever. Um, I think that's a brilliant thing. So let's quickly also close off this fence here. Uh, so just that we have all these sides arranged as well. Just making sure that we have this fence integrated as well. Yeah, somewhat like this, you know, that's kind of nice. And this should be all good. They should not be able to escape. That's all good. I'm not really sure if I want to say, uh, I want to do the same over here or if I'm going to give like a real wall. I think I'm just going to give this like a proper opening here, like that. Maybe one more. And then the rest will be pretty much, you know what? I think this this wall should be like you know rocks and stuff. I think that's the that's the best thing to do. We are going to just have some rocks in here, you know, just making sure that this looks really like a rock kind of boundary, so where the lions cannot escape via this area. And then uh, the higher you go the more it can become like a normal fence that we put down here. So we're just going to put put some rocks in here like this, you know. Uh, it doesn't really have to be like superbly crazy, but just so you have a bit of a pattern in there, like something like this. And then we go obviously with the terrain. That's the easiest way 
to go, you know, like just just go and make this all look like rock over here. Nice. I'm just gonna work some smooth rock in as well. And then I'm also fine to have like some some short grass all the way up here, just as like, you know, that's like where the greenery is as well. Lovely. And then we're just going to, do we have actually some other rocks as well? The down here from the desert, like they, ah, uh, yeah, I mean, they are too red, right? Like this, these are, what about savannah rocks? Yeah, these are the ones that blend in perfectly fine. Yeah, so we're gonna take those again. I always misjudge them, to be honest. I always really mistake them with the others because in the menu they, they appear brighter than the others, but they're not. Like they merge perfectly fine. That's kind of a weird one, but anyways, it's it's fine. It just works, okay? So I'm gonna put these things in and we are obviously also using them here. So you might make like a little bit of a bright rock pattern here. So, you know, we can just put the rock in if we want just to make that look a bit more rocky, but yeah, I think, you know, we just don't need to go too crazy. We can always adjust that in some later episodes, but uh, for the moment being, I just wanted to at least have something that looks neat and so on. I'm gonna have some uh, rocks in here as well. I mean, just not, I mean, they should really not be able to jump out of here. So we are just going to make sure that they can't. So just giving this a bit of a pattern. I think that's all fine. You know, we don't need to do more about this. I just want to bring the lines in at some point and then we're going to see how that works. Um, this is mud and I just want to close the roof off because I forget this otherwise. This is that color and now let's flop that in. Bang, there you go. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so let's go back into this build and these two roofs just go down a tiny bit. You know, this is where they hopefully can cross over. I quite like the idea. Now, what we need to do is we just need to push that one down a little. Same goes on this side. And then we're gonna push this one inwards. Same on the other side. And then let's copy that one over, straighten that out. And then we bring this in like so, you know. That's definitely going to be, I, yeah. You know what, no. I just gonna do something else here. I'm gonna say mesh and I'm going to go with the smaller one, which is that one, the one meter one. I'm not sure if they can escape this, if they can jump it. I mean, I, one meter is just like tiny, I guess. So maybe they can jump one meter, but I think one meter, I mean, we will see if they can jump it. I mean, maybe it's too narrow and they won't jump it and we just take it the way it is. But I think like, you know, one meter, ah, <sighs> I don't know. I want to make sure that this looks really good when the line passes through here. Uh, but I'm, I'm not even sure if this is wide enough. You know, I just went with it and we got to have to see if it works or not. But we will be ready in a couple of seconds. So that is at least the good news. Uh, I mean, we can, we can just make that a little bit higher, right? We can just duplicate this and just push that to like one and a half ish meters to not like make it look massive but then again look nice enough look this is like kind of really neat bridge you go over here this is like really what you would expect here we do need some uh wooden pillar kind of thingies do are they like we are going to use these columns they're like really africa-ish so we're just going to use them because i like them i really think they fit well like so i'm gonna bring my other one here and then let's turn around and we're gonna bring this like in the inner corner here. So give this a bit stability. Uh, that's a nice one there as well. I'm gonna bring one in here, one there and on the other side as well. I think that's, where, where did I put it? Somewhat like here. Okay, just so it gets a bit of a weight and it just doesn't look too ridiculous. I think it's, it's going to look really cool as soon as some plants and stuff are in. Um, all right, so let's go to our trading. I'm quite sure I have some lions maybe in here. I've got like a white lion baby. Another white lion baby. And I've got a normal, this is like Simba. You know what, we're just gonna bring those two in. Do we have like a normal lion as well? No, but we do have the babies, which is great, but we do get to, uh, okay, I'm not sure if they they both go in. We will see, Trade Center, they're from Tiny Zoo. Oh, they're, they're, no, this isn't Tiny Zoo now. They're all in Tiny Zoo, what is called Tiny Zoo? They're not from the same zoo. Simba, whatever. We are going to have a look in here. We set all the filters, say lion. 
And then we need cash listings, guys. Cash listings is the stuff we need. Oh, oh, we do have that many. That is beautiful. The question is, though, if we if we just root for this one over here, we just do that, okay? I just want to have one uh, adult lion over here. There's like another one. I just need a male. I just need a male. Confirm. There's like legit none in here that we can use, right? We need some leaf points. Whatever. Okay, let's hit play. And we wait until the lions are delivered. Um, and we can already employ one keeper who's actually taking care now. Hey, stay here. Stay here. Do we actually have energy over there? I'm, I mean, potentially we don't. Um, so I'm going to create like a new work zone. This is going to be that one. And this is going to be West Africa Lions. Uh, it's West African, but this should be West Africa. Whatever, okay? So I'm gonna pay you less. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is achieved. Um, are the lions being brought over? Yes, they're running over there. That's that's sweet. What time is it of the day? Okay, it's nearly midday, which is great because that means good sunlight. It's a bit shady, right? Oh, yeah, but it's, it's going to be... Uh, okay. Animal stress, 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 because of all the people in here, right? Yeah, I mean, still not sure how to salute, uh, how to find a solution for that. I, I did not really think about the stress of the lemurs. It might become a unsolvable issue at some point, but we will see. I'm like 99% sure that we will have still some escape points of the lines. Oh boy, this will never fit. If I see the size of the babies, that will just most likely never fit. Let me just see. Yeah, well, oh wait, it does. It does. Oh, that's that's perfection are there any escape points yes look this is what i meant so we have some over here but i think the solution is rather simple because we have this one um so let's just quickly take this and just continue doing that weird stuff with these things here uh, don't worry it's going to look hopefully good i have something in my mind which is not always a good thing but sometimes it's a great thing uh let's rotate this a little can I just have all of... No, wait, not, not all of this. Let me just take something in the middle here. And maybe we can adjust this like so. It looks rather sweet to me. And then we have something higher. Okay, let's take a little bit less here. And then we just bring it a little bit higher like so. We can have like a full block. I just want to make sure at some point that, that it just doesn't always offer stuff from the very beginning. I just want to make sure that people at some point need to discover some things you know so i'm gonna align some of these rocks in here just so i have a quick idea of the color that's that's all i want okay so a little bit of an idea what the color pattern is and then we just go in here and we say okay let's adjust that wait let's adjust that color that's what i'm that's what i'm talking about okay and now we just have to get somewhat of a similar vibe going on uh, maybe darker. That's that's quite okay. It's not. No, it's it is somewhat in that area. Like, do we need to go more to the color? Yeah, brighter, less saturation. Do we have to go more to red? Yeah, some little bits here. Less saturation, more yellow. In the in between of both, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, I think it's, it's just having ever so much more yellow. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Let's go back to this color. There you go. And then we give it a tiny bit less saturation. Even more. Even more less, is that even a word? Even more bright. Yeah, somewhat like this is fine. Somewhat like this is suiting this area rather well. Okay, that should have solved the issue with our friend the baby lion okay well they are not escaping anymore great stuff now enrichment is missing space is more than enough they need a couple of more rock uh, textures so let's just do this uh, what do they have enough uh, sand it doesn't really matter we can uh, soil is also pretty much grass long has to go okay well, we're gonna gonna put some rock over here then come on just do it i'm just going to mix that in nice okay done that's easy. Okay, baby lion. Look at this. This is looking sweet. This is looking not so sweet. I gotta have to... 
okay, never mind then, we are going to exchange these things with some other pillars. Many guest things, tickets are underpriced. Okay then, um, we're gonna solve that later, but I need to have pillar like so. No, I'm just gonna take these then. If you don't want to follow my lead and you just need to do your own stuff, all right then, you're gonna get these pillars because then you just do not climb down there, which looked rather weird anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna put this like in the middle, blop somewhat like this, and the other one goes here, nice. Okay, that should be fine. I mean, it still looks good though, but it's, yeah, whatever. Um, who's going to deliver the big lion? Oh, is it actually even, did I even put it in, wait. Uh, no, I didn't. Let's say, hey, in Trade Center, you're gonna go into here. Maybe there is now on the... Oh my god, there's still some mail in there, but there's still no other stuff. Can I refresh the list? Refresh the list, please. There is nothing, right? Next page. 500. What about you? Oh my god, that should technically work. We're gonna adopt this. Yes, send to zoo. I nearly have no points left. That's not good. But okay, we will make points eventually. So that is a good one. Okay, let's go back into Habitat and then we say lion. And then we should hopefully have a lot of enrichment items. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put some on the island here. Some of these things. And I'm gonna get the pipey. The pipey, pipey, pipey. The pipey can be. Uh, my god, why are they not even escaping over here? Like, legit, they must be able to escape there. This is something I don't really get. Don't they get in here anyways? Wait, this is this is weird stuff. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, the, the line is going to be delivered. Then we should see if there is an issue or not. So, let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba okay, so H for traversable area. Okay, so that works. They somehow get in here, even though I have no clue how the frick they get in here. Okay, see, this is where they can escape. I thought about that, but how on earth do they even get in there in the first place? I just really have no idea. How do they even get in there? Like, do they walk? Do they jump? Do they whatever? Do I mean, I'm just going to open this up now because that just, I don't know. I just want to give them air to breathe. And then um, over here, that's like a kind of nice idea with the thingy, but like, I don't want them to be escaping, so... Um, you know what? No, we can just do it th this way. Hey, 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 just game. Leave me doing what I want. Mesh. Great. Mesh is good. Mesh is all... This is going to be my, my most favorite piece in this entire game. Uh, can I... Can I just make that like so? Nice. And I'm going to do it like this. And then we're nearly done. We're nearly done, guys. Nearly done. Boom. Mesh. So yeah, they should not be able to escape anymore. Awesome. Let's have a little looky look. Yeah, that is that is perfection. Okay, so the the last little bit we have, there's still like a, this issue. I think if we go to staff traversable area, yeah, that's the problem I was hoping not to have and still have. Um, mm, 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 mm. See, the problem here is, I mean, okay, we we can potentially go for a solution that looks rather ugly. I'm not really sure why they can't take this as like a route over here and this bridge might work though but I'm not sure if it works. So we could now go and just keep that area free of staff members but that means we can have like not a single enrichment item that uh, has food in it so to say on this island which would be really pain. Um, this is something I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything else. That would be really pain. Mm. But maybe I'm going to go for the pain. I'm not sure yet. Maybe we go for the pain. Just going to put all the bedding in here that looks more realistic and all, yeah, like no one needs that. Okay, so scratching, po uh, scratching thingy is definitely something we can put on that island. Definitely over there because that's something they will enjoy in this region. So there you go. This is that. This is this. We can just have that one, like a blood thingy. Just goes on top here. Boom. Yeah, just lower it down. Whatever. So there's not really more than this anyways as like enrichment. We can like have a sprinkler on the very edge here. Nice. Okay, so this is this is what we have for the line. That means we do need to research the line. Yeah, you are still stressed. 
Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's uh, do this research. The lemur, nice mechanic research. What is that even? I don't know. Okay, let's go. And this is the vet research. And you're gonna go for the lion, obviously. Good stuff. Okay, now we don't need Rango or Reino or whoever that is, but we need you. I'm just gonna go to. Enrichment should be fixed in a bit, right? Because now, as you're boxed up and just get back in. Enrichment is somewhat okay, but you're still missing out on food enrichment. Okay, nice. But let's go to plants, Africa and grassland. And then we just say uh, this and this. And then we can put some of our beloved plants in that we definitely need over here. Ah, oh, gosh, this is hopefully going to look like a very nice looking habitat. So I don't want to block. I don't want to block this too much, but the balcony should still be very nice to be seen then we have like a small one that goes here but i like the big one um i just like that big one a lot because it does always help to cover up some areas can they climb this one this is even climbable it's not great <laughs> i mean actually it's not great but well then again it is great it, no 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 don't get me it is great there's no deniable uh, this is also not Okay, so this one is going to be here, Fever Tree Noise. And we've got, I like that one a lot as well. You know, we need trees. We need to make a lot of shade in this area by just natural things. And this olive tree, I just want to have the small one it goes here. And then we are going to, the coverage is also pretty neat. Uh, the This grass is, this grass is all, all we need. This is the best grass ever. So we're just going to plop it all down. Just got big patches of grass here and there, you know, for them to just go in. I think I just like the savannah grass. It just looks so good. Just patching that all down here. And making sure it aligns really nicely. So just around this enrichment item, we can just have some of it. Also the smaller ones. And it just goes all the way here as well. Just as if... There's like a couple of it. I think that looks good. I think that looks just fine to me. Having some bigger patches here as well. Good, 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 good. And we've got this lo lovely rock in the middle. And then we've got this tree that just looks super nice to me as well. We're gonna place that um, up here. So I've gotta have a lot of trees that also fit well into the top here. The roots can go a little bit to the side. And we're gonna have like another nice palm tree in here as well. Yeah, that's coming alive here. This is really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Okay, weeping willow, we don't need that. But some of the some of these palm trees are always welcome because palm trees are like easy, easy to handle, but they still look nice. And gonna have that big one in the front here to not block the view too much. We've got another big one here. Oh god, look at how this is coming together. We've got a lot of elephant grass we could use. Um, I mean, we've got the baobab tree. Maybe we have one in this entire build that goes in this corner. Like, they are super huge, you know, but I love them. Maybe we can have, like, another one here. Does this look good? I think, you know, with the different elevation steps, it looks good to have them there. And then we could have to just... Bring this all in, have some elephant grass just to the side here. And then it grows a lot more up here to just give that side here a bit more of a character, if that makes any sense. I think, yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, let's go back to the rocks. And we are going to have another, like, almost not pride rock, but I just want to have, like, a little bit of a rock formation in here as well. Just, like, so it's in the background of this chilly rock where they can hopefully get some come some nice time to chill on from uh, 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 can i yeah i want to have a little bit of a rotation like so and there we go that's nice that's really nice i think it's yeah i think i'm going with this and they don't really have like a cave over here they just have that little bit to chill down but uh you know what they have to survive with this. I, I, I'm not going to give them more. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Deal with it, lions. Should be good. Should be all good. Gonna get like a little bit of a nice rocky thingy here. Nice. Look at that. 
I like it, guys. I like it a lot. I la 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 like it. Okay, um, last bit we're doing is, let me just go to barriers. Where's the barrier tool? Barriers, okay. Like, this barrier is actually on top, but I want to make sure that this is now going not onto the um, path, because I really want to make that, like, a fence. Let's move this all in. I'm gonna make this, like, fence, okay? So let's just make it all fence. So over here, there's gonna be chain link. No, this, no. How on earth can I not make that fence? So this looks all good to me. Maybe this is, maybe this is too close. Maybe we just gotta pull that off. Okay, we're gonna go step by step. This makes things easier. Okay, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. This is a big chunk, but it works still. What about you? Yes, you, yes. Don't tell me that was the fix already. It was. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is like the chain link fence. Nice, because I just don't want them to go in. That is it, guys. We have like a wonderful, crazy big line habitat. And oh, my God, it just suits this area so dang well. Oh, God. It was really, it, it was the idea I had from the beginning. Well, it's just like 29 and 24. I think that's fine. Most appealing is the line. I mean, that was... That was quite obvious that this is going to happen. Um, we've got no education and, and donation bins and stuff. I've got to do all that stuff. I haven't done this. I have to do it, but I'm not just going to do it. It's going to take too long. But, you know, uh, we will definitely... Is preventing other elements from breeding? Oh, because like, like too dominant? Okay, that's interesting. I've never read that. I know it is a thing, but I've never read that. Okay, we are done, guys. This is it for today's episode, and I am freaking happy with the result. Look at this line, Habitat. This is going to be something different, you know? That's so special. We've got, like, a... like. <laughs> is it pooping for us? Oh, my God, it is pooping for us. This is so good. Like, yeah, look at that. This is, like, the lion going over here. Is it moving now if I do put play on? Oh, no, it's chilling in there. Oh, my God. I love that. I love this. The lion is just, like, chilling in that bridge, you know, with the overpath. And then you've got the people there. And you've got the flying camera in the background. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. I, I just so much love it, guys. This is this is really exactly what I wanted to do. Like, the people can see the... Oh, gosh. This is like... A, oh, my God. Look at the look at the view with the, with the sun. Oh, I love that shot. This, the line just chilling in there and you can you can like see it from over here like the oh my god this is so cool it just works so well like the game sometimes just excels again and you're like excuse moi this is a very weird place palm tree i assume and you are a very nasty animal how the hell oh my god you can climb these of course you can. I'm gonna move you down. And I'm gonna move this freaking tree away. Because, like, as nice as it looks, it's just gonna d do some damage to our area. So I'm gonna put you here. That should not be too much of a deal, right? Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> let's see if we fix this. Um, let's have a look. I think that fixed it. Maybe it... Yeah, it definitely did fix it. Okay, I just wanna see if I can move this like there and it still works with the, i just want to check the terrazable area now that's all i want yeah can you just oh wait i, I just didn't click okay nice it all works big jump for the for the end of the episode i hope guys you enjoyed it as much as i did oh my god i really did enjoy that habitat look at how tiny zoo is coming together it's not even that tiny anymore i really hope you guys enjoyed the episode as i said if you want to become a bin or a bench i know it's very special <laughs> uh, keep posting your name suggestions down there i'm gonna put like them all into a list and then i'm going to create that for you i really hope you guys enjoyed it to the max and if you have any more ideas for more animals in tiny zoo again let me know in the comments down below and as always if you like the content leave a thumbs up here or if you are not subscribed to the channel do it and click that bell icon to be notified whenever i have got a video for you this helps me the most because that really helps um telling youtube that you like the content and it's going to be pushed out there you do a phenomenal job here with tiny zoo it's a brilliant series on the channel i love it you guys rock i wish all of you a beautiful weekend keep your eyes on the channel tomorrow there's going to be a very 
special video about Planet Zoo, which um, has a lot of your feedback in that you gave uh, you guys gave me during this series. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel. It's gonna be interesting. So again, thank you for your support. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, everyone, and goodbye.